What's up guys, Brand 5 Garage. I got a big mower race event in 11 days, 10 days, five days, two weeks, I, November 12th, November 13th. Anyways, I got a big race I gotta finish my mower for. Not that one, that one looks cool though. It's outside, I gotta roll it in. My competition, Randy from How Do You Hot Rod sent me a video, cut to the video. And his is, well, it's faster than mine. So we gotta make it faster. Also, it's currently raining a lot. So we're gonna deal with that. I was gonna work on it outside, but I just got tired of dealing with the rain and darkness. Days are getting shorter and it's getting colder and rainier and stormier. All right, guys, I got it in. It's sopping wet. Um, having issues with the choke cable. I just rigged this up to get it to work while I was driving it the other day. Um, this isn't rusting over like I wanted it. Oh, well, it's still cool. Um, so I rigged that up. Tires are holding air. That's cool. So what I need to do is this engine engine here, I need to, where the pulley comes through the bottom, where the crankshaft goes. Sorry, I cut my arm with metal. Um, okay, so where the pulley comes through, not the pulley, the crankshaft comes to the bottom. It connects to two pulleys. You got a big pulley and a small, or no, big pulley, small pulley. Uh, you got to flip that around to get a little more power out of the thing. And then I'm kind of concerned with how uh, wobbly the front end is on this. Um, turning it is super sketchy. And it only wanted to tip about 38 times while I was out there. So, and I only turned 39 times. So, uh, we're going to have to resolve that issue. So, let's get after it. All right, I'm on the ground trying to look under this thing to try to get a good angle to work on it. So we're gonna show you real quick. Okay, currently, this is the big pulley. I'm pretty sure that's used to drive the, the whole reason it's a lawnmower, the blades and such. Um, this little pulley guy up here, that little bugger. So that needs to flip-flop with this guy. So there's a nut up in this hole right there. I can shine my flashlight on it. Oh, look, there it is. If I can get that bugger out and I can pull this, it's like a pulley and then it's, this is, let me explain that again. So it's pulley and like a shaft and then up to that pulley and they're all connected as one. And then there's just a shaft that runs down through them um, that this bolt is holding it onto. I tried taking it off like a while ago and well, that didn't work, so. So I'm gonna do it the total incorrect way and uh, we'll see if we can get her out. This is a terrible look. We're gonna use a whole bunch of some WD-40. So, see what happens. Okay, guys, so per usual, nothing's going good. Um, I'll kind of shame my issue here. Well, I'm not, because it's under it. However, the pulley is stuck on the shaft. So I'm trying to use a crowbar, but I don't want to bend either thing because I need to reuse a pulley and the shaft. So what I need to do is get a pulley puller when businesses open up tomorrow morning because it's, like, late. There's a window there. It's dark behind. The oh, there's a window there, too. See? It's dark out there. So I can't go out. I can't go out and get it tonight. So tomorrow I'm going to get a pulley puller and I'll figure out how to get this thing out. Uh, I wish I could get it out for you guys tonight, but I don't have that capability. So I apologize. Um, however, tomorrow 
Hopefully I pull that pulley, flip flop it, put the new one on. Good, great, grand, we're done. Capiche. I also have another option, the backup mower. So my neighbor's given me that one. My buddy's given me that one. I have two more at the neighbor's house. I gotta finish that truck. However, I'm gonna try to get this thing right. If I can't get it to do the right thing the right way, I'm gonna go get the neighbor's mower, fix that one up, have that as a backup plan. So I guess I'll have two racing mowers. And then we just have races at my house. I purchased a pulley puller. Let me show you for fun. Okay, so I got a piece of angle iron here. I'm gonna drill a hole for this guy to go through, which is probably gonna be, I had a bigger piece of angle iron, but I can't find it. So if I find it, I'll do that one. However, I can't find it right now. So I'm gonna drill a piece, a hole just that big in there. Weld one of these nuts. I got two just in case. Weld one of these nuts to it so that the bolt can fit through. And then drill two holes in the pulley two holes on each end of this use these to hold the pulley pull it out as this is going in it'll make more sense when i do it we'll get it in there good idea and that didn't go well so let's show you what happened okay so here's the front of the mower if you can't tell it's obviously is my little homemade oh, trip there my little homemade pulley system uh worked kind of and pulley so that's that's not ideal i just don't understand how that's just not coming out so this is gonna, this is not going well. Um, I have another one of these I can cut, weld, and make something with off my other motor that is currently sitting right there on its side. So I just gotta continue to try to pull this one off because I need the bigger pulley. I don't know if you guys can see it, where that little pulley is up there. <sighs> and I thought it'd be easy. I'm really good at doing everything wrong, and uh, pretty sure I just broke crankshaft. So I don't know if they can break, but now it won't. Motor won't rotate. It's seized. It's just doing this. So, <laughs> uh, it's okay. We only have a week left, so. We're having fun. Boom, that right there is a crankshaft with no pulley on it. It took everything. Right there, that was cut in half. I don't even know where the other half is. This took me like two hours to do. I just hope I didn't break the motor to where it's not gonna run. So I'm gonna build this other crankshaft. I have this one right here off the other mower. So we're gonna put that big pulley on the top, put it on, hopefully it works. If not. We'll set it on fire. I don't know. Boom. We have ourselves a flipped pulley. So it's going to go on this way. Uh, this big gear, or gear, sorry. This big pulley takes the place of that little, or like inch and a half pulley. It's like a four or five inch pulley. Uh, so I will shove it up on there. And we'll put this thing back together. Uh, it's obviously steaming. It's still hot. So it's going to be a sec. Sorry, I didn't film any of that. Uh, it's midnight right now, and I might go to bed. So... I'm going to get this on, hopefully clean the other shaft off, and uh, go from there. All right, guys. So I got the pulley on. Obviously, my belt, that was the original belt on it. It's way too big. These uh, 
the belts I bought are too small. That's like an 86, which is just way too big. And then uh, the 77 is way too small. So I got to do maybe like an 80 or 81 inch belt, get it on there and, and go rip it. So that's the goal is try to get this thing running and driving so that I can drive it, test drive it, make sure it runs good. I have a dirt mustache. But yeah, we're going to get it going. I think it'll run still. I might have broke it. I might have broke the crankshaft. I don't really know yet. I had a heck of a time getting it off, so we'll see. All right, guys. Sadly, I planned on doing a whole lot more in this episode. However, life gets in the way. I ran out of time. I have a week to finish this build, uh, so I'm going to be putting in some long hours. However, I have to get up early for work tomorrow. I'm not going to get anything done. Plus, I need a belt from the hardware store. Keep watching, because Randy also flipped his mower Gave me permission to throw this clip in there. <laughs> and it looks like we're one and the same. We've both flipped our mowers now. Hopefully mine gets as fast as him and we have photo finishes at every event. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Brand 5 Garage. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Oh, for me. Randy, you're going down.